Diablo-esque. This is nothing new. It's just new in this context. I mean, the first one recently went free to play on Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. It's largely been a PC thing for ages, and people have talked about, you know, oh man, you gotta play this game, they've told me, and it's like, well, you know, I played Diablo, but they, you know, the people that like this game... They seem to think Torchlight just hung the moon and that it's so much better. So, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it is. What I got? State your business. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave. But you're on your right, own. Good to know. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight. And is headed their way. He may be there already. Sness Stalgia has joined us. Welcome, Sness. You're just in time for, to uh, see us go warn the Estherians. I hope this is as cool as it seems like it's going to be. I really have I wanted to play this quest. for a long time. Right. Oh, we've accepted a quest. Let's go do it. I am not ready for horse wisdom. The horse seems to look into my future. He appears disappointed. Yeah, I hear you, Ice. Well, we've got a better connection now. Growing pains, man. We're in a new place. And Chu Yuko just subscribed, and that's fantastic news. I could not be happier to see that. So welcome to Mer Nation, Chu Yuko. The Alchemist. Look at this guard. He's... Not feeling too well. Alright, so my bird's going with me. I don't know why I thought that was cool, but it just kind of is. I mean, it is very Diablo esque. Oh, here's a monster. Raga! But look at him out! Oh my god, look at this Dark Souls punching. He, like, goes 10 feet down the road when he throws a punch. It's kind of got almost like a cartoony look to it with the numbers coming up. Still though, I don't hate this. This is a uh, th this has a lot of potential to be neat. I see some blood. That's a good thing. A ratlin archer. Eat the rat people. The warrens of the ratmen. Oh my goodness! Look at these big beasts. Alright, so L and R looks like we got a mana, and it looks like we've got Waruga, Waruga. special attacks, we got health potions. Again, people that have recommended this to me are torchlight lords, and they swear it's so much better than Diablo, and it just it reaches new depths for you, so. I don't know about my Berserker. I mean, that was kind of a random pick there, but it was only because I really didn't... I wasn't sure about any of the other classes. I wouldn't mind doing a mage, but I, you know me. I always, I'm always a fighter first, so... But here we have a fighter that's going straight up Monk on you, man. He's, uh, he's just throwing punches. He's dropping bows. Can we go up here? We totally can, but there's a war beast. Oh my goodness. I think I'm kind of getting off track here, but initially we're uh, grinding and seeing what's up. Yeah, the, uh, the mage seemed like a pretty cool class to be too, and I'm stretching into some magic using uh, classes in Diablo now, going back to play it again. But seeing this game for the first time, I definitely wanted to do a, uh, a fighter. A light cowl. A health potion, health potion. Alright, so we have some gear. 
Your Player 2 is here. Welcome, Josh. You're just in time to see Torchlight 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Day 1 gameplay. So happy to bring that to you. And so happy that you are here. Uh, let's see what we got. What did we get? I thought we picked up a cowl. Okay, we did. He went ahead and put it on. Enchanted Shoulder Armor. I'm dying to make a pen and paper game with this much loot in it. Games like this just make me want to make games. The one thing I definitely don't have time to do right now. Alright, so we did. We got some gear. That's fantastic. There's a burning house. You know what bugs me here? I'd love to have both in physical form on the Switch. Yeah, and you know, the reason... That, yeah, the fact that this is a digital game is the only reason we're not paying Switch tax on it tonight, and the only reason I'm playing it on the Switch, other than I think this is a great game to have in a portable format, if that's available, and obviously here it is. But Torchlight 1 just went free to play on Xbox, and, you know, it's back from Pat. So what did we get? So we could hold a buckler if we wanted to. Is that what's up? And I could punch with the other hand and just throw jabs. Is that cool? Let's try it. But yeah, I think this will be a nice game to have portable. And we're going to put on this unidentified amulet. And by putting it on, we have identified it. And it is a Sturm Shard amulet. With a big X on it. Which may mean we can't use it. Or maybe it means we can use it. I don't know. No. We can't. Because the field's still blank. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Because, I mean, it's class-based can't use everything again dead nuts to Diablo but is it cooler we're gonna see tonight with Foga Croc the mighty we're rocking the boosh all right so yeah look at him man he's just he's 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 going straight up Arturo Gotti man he's one hand in a fight over here I like it but will we like it is he gonna do enough damage with that Will the defense we gain from holding a buckler in one arm be that important? Now, in a pen and paper game, obviously, we've got an AC buff there. That can make all the difference in the world when it comes down to a dice roll. Is it helping us here, though? How is it factored in? How accurate will those stats actually be? Because there were so many things in Diablo, man. You hook some of those, like, oh, 1% uh, more knockback. It's like, you ain't going to be able to detect that. I'm not even going to bother with it. Gold, boots, all kind of stuff. All right, so we got gold, boots, and all kind of stuff. It's auto-equipping some of this stuff because we didn't already have anything equipped before. YP2 says, how much of this game again? It's 20 bucks, man. So, I mean, not bad at all. I was thinking it was like 39 or something. or That's half what I was expecting when I pulled it up this morning. I was like, ah, oh, 20 bucks. We're, we're, we're in. We're in there like swimwear on that. We got us a light belt. We can go ahead and do the 360. Dude looks cool. I like him so far. He's a cool looking dude. He's a cool looking dude. He's not in the nude. He's wearing lots of armor. Oh, did he just hit my bird? I'm not sure what the bird does yet. Please help me. I can't hold these things off by myself. Hey, no problem. We have one hand and courage. CM Retro Gaming is here. Welcome, CM. Great to have you here on this edition of Tuesday Night Live Streams. As you can see, the Mer Den is nowhere near done. These shelves are twice my height, and they're not, uh, the boxes aren't unpacked yet. But we've got to keep the channel afloat with some live streams. There's still new games dropping, and I can't not check them out when they hit because that's what we do you saved my life i thought those ratlins had my number for sure press x to see quest item rewards okay a light tunic a chipped axe and a varmint cinch and some fame so what can we use can we use the axe we can now does he take a penalty to that because he's not fist fighting anymore? Probably not. I mean, a berserker wouldn't necessarily be a hand-to-hand -hand fighter. But I like this. I like this setup. We got this big old meat cleaver and a shield. So, dude's looking extra cool. 
We'll sell that amulet because we don't need it. Yeah. Okay. Now, what does our pet do? Send pet to town. Well, what is he going to do when he gets there? A mulberry bow. Can we... Now, I wonder if he can use that. Can he be a ranged attacker? Probably not. Did I even pick it up? I would I would expect not. What's your business here? What's my business here? You a new recruit? All right, so that was the first section. Jason says, unpack the mainframe, get on it. See, that's the that's going to be the best part, is the game tour video that you and others have requested is going to be so much better now. I've got a whole new setup, new chairs, new desks, new everything, and it's going to be laid out exactly how I always wanted but could not have it before. So when this is done, it's going to be the game room tour to end all game room tours. Maybe not. I'm sure somebody has a nicer one, but i got to say, it, even I don't know how good it's going to look yet. What's your business here? So rest assured that's coming. Glad you made and it's coming it. soon. State your business. What's your business here? I'd say this weekend we'll be in full unpacking mode, just filling up these shelves. These shelves are over business. eight feet tall. They're humongous and they're so wide and they're just all around me and Jesus. Glad you made it. It's not even that the room is so much bigger as that we have even more shelf space on top of added size. So it's gonna State be insane. Business. I may not fill all the shelves right away, and that's fine, because I'm about to get back to something else. Not just uploads, but game hustling, game hunting. We're going to be finding stuff. We're going to be keeping stuff. We're going to need here? places to put all this stuff. What's your business here? Glad you made it. You just get here? Yes. Have we met? You may only reclaim the last three skill points. I don't think I'll... I guess that's to go back and re-distribute your points or whatever. A WC poster must be in view for the bids. I think I may have access to one. And I found my Sting shirt. And I think it still fits. Now, naturally, I still have everything, you know, that you've entrusted me to keep safe. All the wrestling figures, all the artifacts, all that stuff is safe if that's your next question so yeah we're good there all right so he could use a bow or maybe not now i'm not trying to move it to a stash dude what is this i'd have to go in here okay i get it i was on something else Theos. How may I help you? Well, let's sell him something. Let's sell him this amulet. And I think everything else is equipped. I don't know how I get my berserker claws back out. There. Greetings. I think we can go ahead and part with one of those. Or both. I'm going to be an axe man from here on out. Wildcat Willy. T's not worn. So town, a little bit of stuff going on yes. here. I don't know what of this stuff I need. Oh, well, we could use some of this. I 
thank you for your warning, but it has arrived Oh too dear. Late. This alchemist has already come and gone. Jason says, where is Nightbot? That's a good question. Where is he? As it was, many I think that has something to do with uh, with the restream messing up. I'm not sure what he's calling as soon as somebody updates something or changes anything, it all stops working. And the thing is, it was working before then. I mean, I've got over 300 live streams under my belt. So, I mean, absolutely insane. Trying to make my weekly donation. I hear you, dude. Checking the description tab of the video. I mean, the, the, the link may still be there, but I don't know where Nightbot is. I'm going to have to go back in and recalibrate him, I guess. All of this is just all messed up. And nothing changed. I just moved it to another house. But, it, God, Restream is all messed up. Oh, look, I get some rewards. I can't use this axe for some reason. because I, Okay, because I'm not high enough level. Knuckle dusters. Well, we want to... Do I have to pick one? I guess if I pick one, I'm taking the axe because we'll use. Well, by the time we're level seven, we won't need it anymore. Commander Vale believes that the alchemist. So we'll take that. You have received a quest. Yeah, I could go out and try to wrangle the old uh, nightbot up, but it would probably just lunch the whole stream. So I'll figure out what's up with that later on. Missed opportunities, though. Roaming Dan, welcome to the stream. Great to have Dano on the scene. He's in time to see me change to my new knuckle duster. And now we can go sell this chipped axe back to this guy. Yes. Baranka. Dan, this may be a game you probably would get into. I mean, 20 bucks for a... I mean, I'm in no short supply of Diablo games. We just started that Warhammer Chaos Bane game, and it's cool. It's cool in the same regard. A little different yeah, art style. Good. More Diablo-ish than this in the style of the artwork. You just get here? We got a portal now? Is that what's up? He wants me to go this way, though. What's your business here? Here we go. Twenty dollars is robbery, Dan says, and I would guess that Dan says that because this game on Steam is probably a dollar and a nickel. <laughs> it was free on Steam, one and two. I completed them both, and they're fantastic games. See, yeah, that's that's where the PC Master Race gets us every time. Glad you made it. Yeah, free. And again, uh, the first one just went free on Xbox, so it's like, I mean, that was one of the gold games. May still be. I, I haven't, God, I've been in a time warp trying to get this move done. Can't tell one day from the other. Never did find a ton of other Diablo 3 Switch players to run around with. Well, YP2, if the urge should ever strike you, I've got it, and I've got my Diablo 3 power a controller and i would be happy to go on a run with you if that's something you want to do hit me up we have other things i think we're going to be working on too collaboration wise i gotta get back in here and get my notes out i got so much to do with so many different people it's just crazy we really got to get back to production and we need to have some more analytics talk I'm always discovering new things. So we can't get through right here. But we can get through here. So what kind of sword did we get? There is some progress, Dan. Yeah, we got some shelves up. They're not hard to put together, but they're big. And I've had some help, and uh, we're just not done. Greetings. It's my duty to tend to the honored dead. I am at your service. I am at your 
your service. Okay. Yes. We'll help you get it back. Should be a lot more progress this weekend. We've got a little bit more work to finish at the other property. I'm trying to get it sold. Oh, look at my pirate do rag over here. It needs to say Python power on it. Another cool Diablo game we had going that I think has had a major price drop for PS4 is Wolves of Midgard Vikings. Yeah. Uh, really cool, man. Blood sacrifices, just really brutal weaponry, and the most inventive boss battles that you've ever seen in a game like this. It's not like you just go in there and do what I'm doing here, the age-old button mash. Nothing wrong with that, because that's what you want in these kind of games. That's why you play them. They're mindless and just kind of fun, and you can just enjoy the loot process. But, yeah, the bosses in Viking Wolves of Midgard, they were patterned. They were calculated. They were very difficult. You weren't just going to go in there and hit the A button and I win just because my gear is good. wasn't like that. There were attacks that would wipe you out. You'd really have to be ready to strategize, as well as play to the strength of your character with the loot you would find really like that game. The only area in which it suffered was lack of a real buy-off option. You can be a guy or a girl, Viking, cool, but then there's not very much that you can do other than that. So it was a little lacking in that regard. Whereas on this one, even this wasn't the hugest my off I've ever seen or you've ever seen. But there was a little bit of depth to it. It wasn't just am I a man or a woman. Locked golden chest. Well, that's anticlimactic. We need a key. Uncle made his return tonight as well. Oh, is if Final Fantasy remastered out? See, I'm out of the loop, man. I'm out. I'm, I'm never out of the loop. You know I'm not. I didn't even know that was out tonight. I did love eight. I did, but I like seven more. And I've seen now, you know, talking with more people and being a little bit more in the community. There's people that absolutely hate eight. There's people that hate seven, and it's just like I, I can't help you with either one of that. But you know, seven is in my top five greatest games of all time, just based on story alone. And you know, there's people that say it didn't age well, and it's like it's not about aging because turn-based RPGs are timeless. And we're gonna be seeing some of that in some upcoming streams and videos I do on some old series that I grew up with that are still making games today. One of which is. The Bard's Tale 4, which is now out on Xbox, as well as the Bard's Tale Trilogy. Cannot wait to sink my teeth into that on a console. Oh, look at this mess. I wonder if the bird ever dies. Hmm... I mean, it seems to be auto-equipping the stuff that's best for you, and that's great. But not necessarily. I want the ghastly shoulders. Look at that. Dan says, 7 is my least favorite of the PS1 era. And you got to throw tactics in there, too. To me, that was the triumvirate of death. I never really got to play 9. Because after 8... Things started picking up in my life at that point. I was young. I was working hard. I was just like, man, I had the band going. It's like, dad, go, man. I can't do a nine. And before I knew it, there was a ten. Oh, God. Y'all done left me in the dust. Yes, I am getting Dragon Quest for the Switch. Absolutely. Why is that? Because there again, I'm going back on my word. Multiplat. I said I wouldn't do any more Switch multiplats. Why? Because it's going to be better on PS4. Except in the instance where we have some throwbacks to NES goodness. Dragon Warrior was the first NES RPG I ever beat. At the tender age of, I think, seven or eight. Very young. And with that overlay that they do on there where you can turn it into an old, you know, top-down looking version of itself. That may be the way I play it first. I know the game's great, and I have the rest of my life to see that, but I have to see what they did with it. When there's, Ninten when there's Nintendo fan service in it, yeah, I gotta go back on my word. I did it tonight, and that's not the case here even, but 
That's the only instance in which you can do that. If portability makes 100% sense, and in a game like this, I think it does. Uh, and when there's Nintendo love in there. so Dragon Warrior was so great to me. Iconic music. You know, a grind that you just never got tired of. Red Art Games did the Bar's Tale Remastered. 2,000 copies, and they still have some on their website. CM, uh, I hope that you are texting me a link to my phone right now. Again, I'm out of the loop. How I, I've been after In Exile Entertainment on social media now about getting the game on console, the fourth one. And, you know, people talk all kind of stuff all day on social media that's just useless blubbering. And then when it comes to that, they didn't say a word about it. I'm finding out weeks later, oh, it's already out. Well, how about letting me know? I have money. I'd like to give you some money. Where do we go with this? So, my God. Red Art Games. Please send me a link. Okay, good enough. There it is. Text it to me, too, though. Be a love dove. Somebody please make my life easier. This has been the worst freaking week. I would rather have my nuggets in a salad shooter than go through this move again. I swore last time I'd never move again. But we keep getting more stuff, so we need a bigger house. The Scroll of Enum. Oirek! You must be the human the other Asturians are speaking of. Jason says... Why not have a Zelda RPG? And you could say that's a trick question. Zelda is an RPG. But not in that sense it's not. It's not turn-based. So if that's what you mean, and I think that it is, yeah, why not? Why haven't we gotten a Zelda turn-based? I guess they feel like that breaks so far away from the formula. that. But everyone broke away from the formula. I mean, come Ocarina, past that, every Zelda game got progressively wackier. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean that there were no limits. There were no boundaries. I mean, God, by the time it, we were in Twypry, he was turning into a wolf. I mean, there was just... There was no laws about it, and there was alternate timelines, and it was just... It got so far removed from the original NES games that when they finally made, you know, books to commemorate them and strategy guides, I remember when they launched that, they completely left out the NES games. Was, I don't care if most of that's common knowledge. Put it in a dadgum book and put it in there. For that reason, I didn't buy that book set. Because I was like, you know what? No. You're not going to deny the early ones. I mean, I, we can we can all just sit there and say that Ocarina and Link to the Past are the greatest games ever made. And I mean, they definitely rank. I'm not saying they're not, but you can't ever forget where you came from, you know. Zelda 2 was kind of an RPG. It still had the action elements, though. Loved it, but it wasn't a turn-based thing, a top-down thing where you pick fight or you... You know, equip all your gear and then it changes your numbers and your stats and all that. And you just sit there and and, and do a strategy thing. I mean, and again, they've stepped so far out of bounds on every other genre. I mean, we even had a Dynasty Warriors freaking game. Hyrule Warriors. And that came out and I was like, you got to be duking me. And I'll still play it eventually. I think I picked it up for Wii U the other day, as a matter of fact. I can't remember if I got it or not. Because I'm not paying 60 bucks to play it on the Switch. Get out of here. But, I mean, I'll pick it up. But I'm, I'm not a Warriors guy. But, yeah, once we can turn it into a straight-up hack and slash with nothing else, then, you know, all bets are off. You can do whatever you want. So, that's the long answer to the question. I don't know why they've never thought to have a turn-based RPG, at least in the Zelda universe. Could totally be done. I want a turn-based Madden game. Well, you know what? That's not so far-fetched. I mean, with Blood Bowl, I mean, Games Workshop kind of getting in on some things there. We've kind of rubbed up against the idea that football can be a role-playing game or the head coach game, any game in which you do a management type thing or where things get simulated and then it does become based on numbers, on statistics, you know? If you ask me, and I think you did, Almost anything can be an RPG. Because I'm not a guy that started off playing D&D. &D. We were playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Other Strangeness, Heroes Unlimited, Rifts, and Robotech were our first pen and paper games. I immediately got into Shadowrun and D&D 2, 
but my main ones were games that you probably wouldn't really think of when it's, you think of rolling dice and playing games. What I've learned out of that experience is that I need a health potion and that and a mana potion is more running out. You can make almost anything into a game, and you can make almost anything game-esque into a pen and paper game. You just need that inspiration and a way to do the math and to do the calculations. You can really apply any great franchise to almost any genre. Whether people are not will buy it, I don't know. But I just like the creativity, you know, in that sense. $44 Canadian for Bar's Tale, shipping included. Not bad at all. Really, any price, dude. Name your price. Bard's Tale. I remember ordering the Bard's Tale for my Atari 1040 ST as a, as a wee lad. And that was back in the days where, you know, Amazon, give me a break. It's six to eight weeks for delivery on anything back then. And I'm like, I remember every day I would just sit there and play Golden Axe or anything I had that was even remotely, you know, close to being an RPG. Anything that gave me that feeling of warriors and sword slashing and just chomping at the bit till it finally got to the house. Because I'd been playing Bar's Tale for years up till then, but didn't have it for my Atari ST. I grinded on it on my buddy's IBM. We went through the trilogy on it years before. They never made 2 and 3 for the Atari ST because that computer didn't sell well. The Commodore 64 actually got more love on the sequel releases than even the far superior Atari ST because they it sold far superior numbers. <laughs> Don't leave me, Josh. He, he'll be right back. He needs it. Yeah, it looks like CM has sent me a link, and that's just beyond fantabulous. I needed something else to spend money on. We need to take a, a loot break here. We've really been pounding some skeletons, but what do we got going here? We got a gun. I'm not sure how that would do. Yeah, I dig this, man. It, it feels good. Put on the cloth vest. Oh, that's cool. He's got him a ding-dong cover now. Um, a better belt. Ring gloves. I'm going to take my gloves off. The cloth cap has more armor. We got two of them. Ah, oh, now he looks tough. It's like one of the Brotherhood, one of the assassins. Oh, we got some ringed on. Look at my dude. Look at my dude here. I hear you, Captain. I hear you. I hate that you was not notified of this live stream. I bet that was on purpose or by design. Oh my goodness, good thing you geared up. Look at all these things coming out. Well, I guess we're going in here, right? The Fallen Guardian. <laughs> Look at them skeletons. They're really animated, aren't they? Crawling up out of the hole like that. We're ripping a boot. We're not going to be. Oh my goodness, let's look. We got a truncheon. I bet you that's not a one. Oh, it is a one hander. I almost want to try the gun. It's not going to do as much damage, but let's try it. 
Whoa, That's kind of cool because you. You got a little bit of distance. Got to drive. All right, we'll see you in a bit, Ice. How are you liking the new place and furniture? When we get it all done, I'm sure I'll be loving it. And uh, we had some initial issues starting the stream up because, I don't know, Restream and OBS weren't talking to each other and the signal was just kind of intermittent. We've got a lot better speeds here, but something was not uh, stirring the Kool-Aid. Uh, but, you know, growing pains. We'll, we'll get it figured out. I want my shield back. I didn't really consent to take that off. Do I have a better one? And the answer is no. Not as many breakables laying around as there is in uh, Diablo. I like the color-coded messages. I mean, it's easy to see what's going on on screen. Look at this big old thing now. Oh, he's he's got a slow spell going on me. Nine parchments and Victor Brand. Good, uh, good ones to bring up there, Dan. And Titan Quest I have, and we did do day one. Victor Brand I have not taken a whack at, but I do know that it looks good. And nine parchments seemed like maybe it just didn't fire on all cylinders. I heard good and bad, but I would certainly try it. Look at the size of this skeleton rolling up in here. Oh. This guy ain't playing, he's just deflecting me. Got some Titanfall in you later. Later I'll be back at the old property doing work till probably the wee hours of the morning. I'm still not done in the garage over there. We're only reviewing this tonight because it's new today and we're trying to basically keep the channel on life support here and review everything that is still on the schedule and then get back to uploads and editing as soon as we're all moving here because God knows I've got a lot to produce and to get out. I mean, there's so much footage, so much stuff backstopped. I mean, it's 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 uh, anxiety building, but it's exciting in the same. I mean, I'd hate to be sitting here saying that. Oh, I can't even think of a video to do. Instead, I've got a backlog of probably ten. But I would like to do some Titanfall soon. I really would. After this weekend, things should be back to normal as far as getting some decent play time around here. All right, there's a scary portal. Did we... So you can't pause this. It's just going. I want to look at my, my stuff right now. Hmm... Wow, that is odd. Video incoming, Captain, I would imagine. Path of the Honored Dead. My thanks. So that was it then, huh? My thanks. So this is kind of cool. You get three rewards and you have to pick one.
Level 13, level 10. That's a pet test. So the pet is attacking. Ah, I gotta go with the sandals. So there's nothing to dislike here. There's just the problem that Roaming Dan pointed out that if you're on PC, these games were already free. The first one's free on Xbox. Charging you 20 bucks to play it now on console. I mean, honestly, I guess for a new release, though, they can't do much less than 20 bucks. But it's technically not a new release. Lucky Collector has joined us. Welcome, LC. I, I can understand that. Ashcan says, you know, Marvel Ultimate Alliance on 3 plays the same way as this. Yeah, when that hit, we were just in the midst of so much going on. I meant to pick that up day one, and I just didn't. I'll still get it, though. Those games are really cool. I really like X-Men Legends. Any of those games that played like that, top-down, button-mashing, they're just fun. What's your business here? <laughs> Have received a quest. I have received a quest and it's telling me to go right back in here. Is that what we just did? Glad you made it. Well, that looks good. Not here. Not here. Not here. Let's see what we have. Unidentified pants. We don't know whose pants these are. Colonist leggings, so we can't wear those. We're level six, so those cloven hoof sandals don't help us yet. Oh, and they have sockets. We're getting into sockets now. That's cool. I thought it said, le yeah, it was level. There was a level restriction. That's why we can't wear those yet. It's telling us to go in here again. So I guess we'll just do it. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's a real honor. I'll tell you. We realize that you have a choice of YouTube videos to watch while showering. And we appreciate yes. you picking the MC Mer Show. Let's select a reward. Oh, look at the truncheon. Eventually, we got to get something for the bird, don't we? I want a better truncheon. Was that why? Surely that wasn't why it was telling me to come in here, though. We have quest business. I don't want a waypoint portal. That wasn't what I meant to do. I'm exhausted. All right. Better truncheon. God, I'm a boob. This has a socket on it, too. Well, you just get these things outfitted, and then you get something better. Witcher 3 was like that, too. I'd get something all socketed up, and then dadgum, I'd find something straight vanilla with better numbers. And I was like, Dad, gum it. Or I'd get better armor, but it would look like something Bozo the Clown would have on, but you couldn't not wear it because it was like, Dad, gum, look at these numbers. Pocket pistol. What's that like? Crossbow's not bad. It has a socket. Not bad for damage. Pocket pistol's not great. We need to go back to that town and sell off some bull dunk and maybe we can buy something. Have we met? We won't be needing eat. 
Not sure why that arrow is there, but I don't think we need to go in there. We're going to follow where the star says to go. The last thing I care in a video game is my character's fashion card. Well, I do like when the gear looks cool and that we have the op when it plays into the whole my off element, but And so far this guy looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, Jesus. Oh my. Look at this poop storm. Titan Quest was difficult because it was a lot more calculating than this. The same kind of game, but then it was turn-based. That sounds crazy. What it means is that when you hit the button to strike, it may not be your turn to strike. So it, you, I'm sitting here wondering why it's not doing anything. It took me a minute to figure out what was up. Was that like other like this? You know, it was already out. There were people that knew about the game. Me being a console guy, it comes out for console, it's new to me. Yes, Captain, that's correct. And me, it's better equipped. Yeah, you know, if if Geralt looks like Bozo, that's okay. Boss battles in that game are tough enough that, yeah, it, it doesn't matter what you look like. I'm trying to figure out where it wants us to go here. Oh, Jesus. A walking staff. Well, the, the enemies are getting a little tougher. A fell walker. The bird's even going at him. I, if they do, I just wouldn't even be able to imagine it. I mean, I just took Molly to her homeschool co-op orientation, and we walked into a bunch of kids going, yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeah, no, yeet, you. No, yeet, you. And Molly had already been in there talking to him and made a couple friends, and I said, did you get all them kids saying yeet? And she said, no. I was hoping you were going to say you did. Yes, I invented Yeet in 1984. Yeet is, I mean, I think Captain actually described it best. It's a hard word to describe, but it's an outcry of nerdgasm while lightly ragging something. For instance, when Kool-Aid Man busts through a wall, it's just silly, you know, but you love him. But it's so silly, so you just go, Yeet, Kool-Aid Man. And then I've had a lot of young people watch the show and say, man, you're too old to say that. I'm like, you're, you, you're too young to say it. <laughs> that word's older than your dad, and you're acting like you invented it and it's some Fortnite gun. We've discovered Skull Hollow. Yeah, we're ancient history, but yeah, he is too, and I just, I can't fully grasp the meaning of what these kids today are saying it means, and I guess they can't really grasp what I'm saying either. Oh, we need to get up there, don't we? be applicable to that but it would have to be to be in the same context of what I use it for it would have to be excited about something silly like a Pac-Man toy and he's dressed as something silly and you want to buy it so Pac-Man a shady character approaches bring out your dead all right we accept your term you sir Oh, 
this guy ain't playing. Mana. Yeah, no, that that's yeeting doesn't hurt something. I'm not gonna yeet something. I mean, I, I've done my research, my due diligence. It seems like the internet just isn't real clear on what it means, yet they want to use it and tell me that I can't. I uh, claim Yeet in the name of Murr. Yeet is a registered trademark of Murray Sound Entertainment. Pat Benny, Pat Benny, Pat Benny. Well, at least that even trumps what I'm saying. That just even describes that it's been around even longer. So there again, that just strengthens the notion that, oh, you're an old man saying you. Here's a woman that probably died of old age already saying it. My mana is low. Have a seat. How many of these things are going to come out? Good night. So we have skill points, and we haven't been using them, so it's time for that. We definitely want to bring the Eviscerate up. And that's as high as we can do it without spending more points. We don't have Rays, so I think we would like that. Now, but we got to be a higher level, so we can go ahead and get Howl for what that does. And we'll probably stop there and save it. Unidentified boots. We'll have to have them identified. See, they'll be better than those cloven hoof sandals, is what it'll be. Time to send Eagle Eye to the village to sell your... Is, is that what he does? He goes back and sells my Bull Duke? Because it'd be a lot cooler if he did. See, here I am, an, a new guy at this game. I don't know what's up. And I assume the saves anywhere, just like Diablo. So, you know, we're good. But... That is about all the time I've got for tonight. Had, uh, the stream would have been longer, but it actually was. We just ran into some trouble early on and had to restart. Yes, he does. That's good intel, Dan. That's good intel. Not a bad game. I mean, $20 may seem like robbery at this point, but it is new to me, so... Still doesn't excuse it, but glad to have it. Glad to have it portable, and... Uh, it's something I could definitely see playing more of a long time from now after we beat all those other games we talked about. But that was cool. I hope you liked what you saw here. If you were wondering what this game looked like on Nintendo Switch, you saw it here tonight. If you've already seen it somewhere else and you didn't see it in MC Mer style and I feel bad for you, you need to come in here and take a look at it. And if you're taking a look at this thing on the recap, I hope you're going to drop a like on this video. If you're in this video right now and you have not already done so, I hope that you're going to be uh, dropping a like on the video as well and if you haven't already done so we've been through this do what chu yuko did earlier subscribe to the mc mer show be a part of mer nation rising up all the fantastic things we do right here on the show you need to be a part of it. make sure that you smack that notification bell because it may or may not let you know about new things going on right here on the channel it's the only way i have to notify you whether it works or not so better to do it than not 
fantastic stuff guys thank you so much everyone that joined me for this day one look hope you enjoyed it and see Mer signing out for this episode of dnl and i'll see each and every one of you again next time